sorry I missed the official announcement. Was everybody surprised? Yeah, jaws were dropping from one end of the terrace to the other. Uh, I think it's wonderful, and I wish you all the happiness in the world. And we're going to have to give you a big party soon. Oh, you don't have to do that. It does sound like fun, though, so thank you. Uh, we better hit this party first, though. What? No wonder you aren't up for a party. Jessica just told me about Beth. My God, that's, that's awful. Yeah, talk about a raw deal, huh? I'm so sorry. Yeah, Jason's the one that's having a tough time, though. Marty, are you sure you're okay about all this? I mean, the party, helping to celebrate. I know I'm not your favorite person. Well, I gotta get going soon. But, um, it's not to get away from you, Powell. I, I think it's wonderful, everything that's happening for you. Really? Yeah. Actually, it's kind of overwhelming. Uh, last year, I was on trial, and here I am engaged, starting a whole new life. Well, you worked hard for it. And you helped me, time after time. Whenever I think of everything you've done, after what I did to you. No, pal, it's what you and Todd and Zach did to me. Only they never once felt that they'd done anything wrong. They never once felt guilty. That's where you were different, and I know that. I just wish there was something, you know, that I, I, I could do what? for you. Marty, I know you still have problems, you know, trusting people and stuff like that. I, I, I wish I could help. We're not going to talk about me, okay? Besides, this is <coughs> your celebration. Congratulations. Thanks. There is one thing I'd like to know. Shoot. Well, you and Rebecca are engaged now. Does that mean that Rebecca's finally going to put Todd out of her life once and for all? Who was she? A girl I knew. Girlfriend, really. What happened? That is rape usually happens. I was 18, full of myself, angry. I got into a bad way one night and I put her in a worse one. See, I didn't think of it as rape. I was just trying to talk her into it, that's all. Couldn't believe she hauled me into court. My girlfriend. I did a nickel in the state pen. I mean, for years I couldn't even talk to anybody about it, just to pin it all on her. Then one day, everything changed. What do you mean? It was about a year or so before my parole. I walked into the visiting room, and there she was. The chick came to see you? Yep. I mean, I couldn't duck talking to her. She was right in front of me. Oh, man. I used to think I was so tough. But I'll tell you, I was scared out of my shorts that day, and I was right to be. So she really chewed you out, huh? She blew up? No. She was real quiet spoke to me almost like in a whisper. Told me how her life would never be the same. See, but I heard her. I mean, for the first time, I heard her. What I had done to her finally sunk in. And as much as that hurt, that was the minute I started to live again. That's a really sweet story, Ray. But you see, I don't really get a happy ending like that. You can. Oh, come on. I had my chance to face her, remember? And what happened? Nothing changed. Nothing ever will. You could say Rebecca's finally put Todd behind her, but she says she's gonna keep visiting Todd in prison. After all he's done to her, to all of us? She doesn't think that's the real Todd. She sees a good side. And what do you see? Are you kidding me? I think he's sadistic. He's out of control. And he always will be, as far as I'm concerned. I'll never forgive myself for letting him bully me into doing all those things. Hey, well, you think I'll ever forget what he's done to a lot of people? To Swade? 
to me? No. And I don't think you should even try. You know, he is a nightmare. He just keeps going on and on. Sometimes I, I really wish you'd been killed. <laughs> and other times... Other times what? Well, there's just this one little thing that keeps popping into all this rage, I feel. This one little thing that just doesn't fit in. A little fact, you know. Todd saved my life. You said you had your chance, too. I mean, did you and Marty get a chance to talk when you brought her up to the road the night of the accident? How do you know Marty? I don't. I just know of her newspaper accounts. Wow. Then I guess you know everything there is to know about me. Well, not whether or not you had any kind of serious talk with Marty Saybrook that night. Serious? No. It was a joke. It was a total waste of time. Why? Why? Because no matter what I say to Marty, she's never going to understand me. Understand what, Todd? You know, maybe the timing just wasn't right for you two to really deal with each other. But that could change, Todd. What do you think? He's ready to go back to his cell now. You take it easy, Todd. Got you before you left. Well, a good trip doesn't exactly sound right, but you know what I mean. Is Andrew there? Yeah, hang on. Andrew, hi. Um, you all set? Good. Listen, take care of Cassie, okay? And, um, give me a call as soon as you get back from Ohio. Okay. Okay. Bye. Marty Saybrook? Ray Martino. What are you, a reporter? No. I'm a therapist. I work at Statesville Prison. At Statesville? Yeah. I, I was wondering if we might be able to talk about a patient of mine. Todd Manning. Now, what is this, man? I, I already saw Ray once this morning. You tell me I gotta see his ugly face twice in one day. Well, I guess they're gonna make you do it until you get it right, Manning. Oh, you're so witty, Doan. I don't need another counseling session. You know that, right? So fine, where is he? Where's Ray? He called. He uh, said he'd be late. Fine. You can wait until hell freezes over. I got nothing to say to him. A rape counselor. Uh-huh. Ray Martino. Yeah, and you want to talk to me about Todd Manning. That's right. Forget it. Marty, I won't badger you, but I'd like a chance to explain. I need your help. If this is about that free Manning... No, the help I need from you... It's a whole lot more than just signing a piece of paper. You're rude or unconcerned, but I've had about all the Todd Manning that I can handle in my life. I can understand that. Oh, really? Yes, I do. But, Marty, can I just tell you what I'm here about? Now, I didn't come here unaware of how this would make you feel. And yet you managed to bring yourself to do it. Thank you. Todd has been working very hard in therapy. Oh, well, good for him. And I felt that if you would be willing to come to the prison and face him in a very controlled situation... <laughs> you are kidding me, right? I think it's very important for Todd to face his victim. It's a very crucial time in his therapy for him to deal with the consequences of what he's done. I, this method has been used very successfully in other areas. Forget it. I don't want to contribute to Todd's therapy. What in God's name made you think that I would go along with something like that? I think that just one session, just one, would help you as much as it would help No, you Todd. know what would help me if you get lost. 